In this video, let's learn about the sensation of the taste. The organ for taste sensation or the sense organs for taste or the gustatory sensations are by the taste buds. Taste buds are the ovoid bodies with a diameter of 50 to 70 microns. So this is a structure of a taste bud and they have nuclei. In adults, about 10,000 taste buds are present and the number is more in children. And in old age, many taste buds degenerate and the taste sensitivity decreases. So its size is 50 to 70 microns and adults have about 10,000 taste buds. Now let's talk about the situation of these taste buds. Most of the taste buds are present on the papillae of the tongue and some taste buds are also situated in the mucosa of the epiglottis, palate, pharynx and the proximal part of the esophagus. For a video of development of the palate, you can click on the i button. So there are three types of papillae that are located on the tongue. The first one is filiform. The second one is the fungi form or the fungi form and the third one is the circumvallate. These filiform papillae are small and conical shaped and they are situated over the dorsum of the tongue and these papillae contains very less number of the taste buds. And the fungi form papillae are round in shape and they are situated over the anterior surface of the tongue that is near the tip. Each papillae contains moderate numbers of taste buds. And the circumvallate papillae are large structures. Those are present on the posterior part of the tongue and they are many in number. These papillae are arranged in a V shape and each papillae contains many taste buds. That means up to 100 taste buds are present on each papillae. Now let's talk about the structure of a taste bud. Taste bud is a bundle of taste receptor cells with supporting cells embedded within the epithelial covering of the papillae. Each taste bud contains about 40 cells and which are modified epithelial cells. And the cells of these taste buds are divided into four groups. Coming to this diagram, this is the taste pore. These are the type 1 cells the type 2 cells, type 3 cells. These type 3 cells are also called as receptor cells. These are the type 4 cells and these are also called as basal cells and remaining the nerve fibers. Type 1 cells and the type 4 cells are the supporting cells and type 3 cells are the taste receptor cells and the function of type 2 cell is unknown. Type 1 2 and 3 have microvilli which project into the opening epithelium that covers the tongue and this opening is called as the taste pore. All the cells of taste bud are surrounded by the epithelial cells and there are tight junctions between the epithelial cells. The cells of taste buds undergo constant cycle of growth, apoptosis and regeneration. Now let's talk about the pathway for taste. The receptors for the taste sensation are the type 3 cells or the receptor cells. Each taste bud is innervated by about 50 sensory nerve fibers and each nerve fiber supplies at least 5 taste buds through its terminal. The first order neuron for the taste sensation are in the nuclei of three different cranial nerves. Those are situated in the medulla. After arising from the taste buds, these fibers reach the cranial nerve nuclei by running along the following nerves. The first nerve is the corda tympani. The corda tympani fibers of the facial nerve which run from the anterior two-third of the tongue reach the cranial nerve nuclei by running along the nerve. And the second nerve is the glossopharyngeal nerve. And the third one is the vagal. So the corda tympani fibers are from the facial nerve that is the seventh cranial nerve and the glossopharyngeal is the 9th cranial nerve and the vagal is 10th cranial nerve. The glossopharyngeal nerve fibers that run from the posterior one third of the tongue that is the corda tympani is from the anterior two third 
and the glossopharyngeal nerve is from the posterior one third. And the vagal nerve fibers run from the taste buds in other regions. Axons from the first order neurons in these nuclei run together in the medulla oblongata and terminate in the nucleus of tractus solitarius. So the taste buds are present on the tongue. This blue color indicates the first order neurons. This is the nucleus of tractus solitarius. And now coming to the second order neurons. The second order neurons are in the nucleus of the tractus solitarius and the axons of the second order neurons run through the medial lemniscus and they terminate into the posteroventral nucleus of the thalamus. So the neurons are present in the tractus solitarius and the axons it runs through the medial lemniscus and they terminate into the posteroventral nucleus of the thalamus. So this color indicates the second order neuron. This is the second order neuron and it runs through the medial lemniscus and reaches the posterior ventral nucleus of the thalamus. This is the medial lemniscus and these are the posterior ventral nucleus of the thalamus. And now coming to the third order neurons. The third order neurons are present in the posterior ventral nucleus of the thalamus and the axons from this third order neurons project into the parietal lobe of the cerebral cortex. So this color indicates the third order neurons. This is the third order neuron in the posterior ventral nucleus of the thalamus and the axons reaches the parietal lobe of the cerebral cortex. So this is the parietal cortex. This is all about the sensation of the taste. Now let's come to the applied physiology or the abnormalities of the taste sensation. The first abnormality of the taste sensation is the adducia. Adducia means loss of taste sensation. Taste buds in the anterior two thirds of the tongue, corda tympani branch of the facial nerve, and these corda tympani nerve fibers receive taste fibers from the tongue via the lingual branch of the mandibular division of trigeminal nerve. So the lesion of the facial nerve or the seventh nerve or the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve that is fifth cranial nerve causes loss of sensation in the anterior two thirds of the tongue and the lesion in the glossopharyngeal nerve that is the ninth cranial nerve leads to the loss of taste sensation in the posterior one third of the tongue and temporary loss of taste sensations occur due to the drugs like captopril and penicillamines, which contain sulfidyl groups of substances. And the second abnormality in the taste sensation is the hypogeusia. Hypogeusia is the decrease in taste sensation. It is due to the increase in threshold for different taste sensations. However, the taste sensation is not completely lost in this hypogeusia. And the third one is the taste blindness. Taste blindness is the rare genetic disorder in which the ability to recognize substances by taste is lost. And the final abnormality of the taste sensation is the dysjuicia. Dysjuicia means the disturbance in the taste sensation. It is found in the temporal lobe syndrome, particularly when the anterior region of the temporal lobe is affected. In this condition, the paroxysmal hallucinations of the taste and smell occur, which are usually unpleasant. It is found in temporal lobe syndrome and it causes the paroxysmal hallucinations. So guys, this is all about the physiology of the taste sensation. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel and you can click on the i button for a video of development of tongue. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.